Good afternoon, Gabe Roberts from Back to Nature Lifestyle Medicine. I want to do a quick follow-up video from my interview with Dr. Purser today and just kind of give lay listeners a little bit better understanding of what MTHFR is and why it's very important and you should um, be looking to get tested for this if you have any kind of these underlying issues. Okay, MTHFR stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase and it's actually a, an enzyme deficiency, but it's not a enzyme deficiency, it's a transcription problem. Your body is having trouble converting something into something else. And where it's at, where we got this information from was uh, the conclusion of the 2006 Human Genome Project. We actually looked closer into our DNA and found that there are certain defects and some of those we can correct. They found, uh, I think, 1900 different genetic defects and of that we can correct uh, maybe two or three and this is one of those. Okay, so what happens when a person has MTHFR is they're unable to convert folic acid or the inactive form of B9 into the active form of B9. This actually reaction does not take place, so they cannot activate uh, their B9 into methylfolate, okay? And when that happens, homocysteine starts to build up in the body. And this can happen because of a deficiency in certain other B vitamins. This can be from um, hereditary. This can also be a very poor diet when you're deficient in B vitamins, which is probably one of the most common uh, nutritional deficiencies across America today are B vitamins. Again, don't think you're going to get B vitamins from your monster drinks. That's a terrible source. Those are synthetic. Chances are if you're drinking a monster for energy, everything else is deteriorating because you have such low energy while you're needing that and you're not going to be able to absorb any B vitamins even if they were of quality so keep that in mind and monster drinks and energy drinks and things like that do not give you any kind of energy they are actually uh, kicking a tired horse is what you're doing you are it's your body's converting things but you're not getting that energy source from somewhere else and what it's going to do is it's going to make you even more burned out when it's over okay when the drink wears off Methylfolate, okay? You have to have that for this conversion to take place or homocysteine starts to build up. When homocysteine starts to build up, you have a tendency to develop osteoporosis, heart attack, stroke, diabetes, dementia, a whole, a whole host of uh, mental uh, problems, um, and as well as very, very inflammatory processes get, begin to arise with high homocysteine, especially in the cardiovascular area. Um, from my interview with Dr. Purser today, he mentions that high homocysteine is the number one cause of heart attacks or strokes in someone young. Okay, There's other clotting factors uh, involved as well. I'm going to go into uh, those next month in more depth. Okay, But for now, understand that high homocysteine has a, problem, has a tendency to cause all these problems because of that conversion issue. On normal scales, homocysteine is ranked at 0 to 15, but that's actually inaccurate. I do know of people that have had strokes at 11. Okay. At 11 so you want to keep that in mind a healthy homocysteine number is anything below 10 okay I hope that helps more to come um, to get back to your vibrant state of health you have to get back to your roots back to nature love yourself okay thanks for listening